half a million miles. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm Alex. I'm Jack. I'm Ethan. And today we're going to be buying a car for £200 because... My car's been written off. What the f*** are you doing, man? Yeah, I'm not sure. Some of you may know, some of you may not. There's been a video going around. <laughs> My poor golf has been written off. It happened over a Greenford flyover. Two lane dual carriageway. I was in the left. Laurie came over from the right, spammed me round push me, didn't realise that he turned me into some sort of like living hood ornament. <laughs> and uh, yeah, pushed me the whole way over the flyover till the slip road. And Jack, was it set up? No, it wasn't set up. It's <laughs> unbe unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unbelievable that people think it's set up. Well, firstly, like, thank you for thinking that we could set something yeah, like that yeah, up. Yeah. But also like, we have access to so many crap cars. Why would I do it in mine? Can I just ask what it was like when you're going sideways down a dual carriageway and there's a lorry? Uh, yeah, like I wouldn't recommend it, <laughs> but um, yeah, quite scary. The thing is, I, I was being pushed for so long, uh, not didn't get used to it, but then you like absorb it and you like realise where you are. In the video, in the car, once it's when the camera comes around, I must say you look just really chill. You're yeah. there like with your hand on the steering wheel. Like, yeah, <laughs> I'm just concentrating and trying not to fill my pants full of shit. <laughs> And you're just having a chat with Ellie Goulding as well. Yeah, what the hell? Then that <laughs> happened, yeah. I didn't even realise. I found out because I saw it on the bloody Daily Mail. You've actually bought your car back yeah. from the insurer. However, that's still going to take a few weeks. So you need a car in the interim. You've had a look how much it would cost to hire a car, which is... 150 quid. Well, 150 for a week. Oh, a week. And, you know, I could like Uber and train and public transport, but it's not about that bullshit. So 200 pounds is our budget from Jack. It needs to just be like a stopgap car just to get me by until I can repair my golf. And so I have some criteria for you guys. I don't think you could have criteria when the car is so cheap. I know you get I'm, what you've given. I know I'm being <laughs> extremely unreasonable, but I've, I've seen that we can get some good stuff. So obviously we do a lot of motorway driving. We go to a lot of different places. It'd be really nice not to spend like two hours at a time in a car that's like screaming at like 5,000 RPM. Yeah. Preferably something a bit economical. An auto would be great because I'm tired. Um, so, <laughs> just tired of life. Just tired of life. I'm done. Even the task of changing gears is now too much for me. If it's a manual, then yeah, so be. So it. I don't think we're gonna have a lot of choice. Jack, I'm on Facebook Marketplace, so you can stay away from that. Okay, I'm on Gumtree, so don't. Are you actually? Me. Yeah, don't come anywhere near me. What are you two boys doing? Swapping? We're mixing it up. We're freestyling. There's an advert here for a 2002 BMW i3. I've not seen one like that before. Have i3. You? It must be a very rare model. They've actually taken the body off an E46 <laughs> and put it on an i3. But 195. Five pounds. Get yourself oh, a Ford Fiesta. It's a 1.3. So 1.3 like, flight. Be doing like four grand at like 70 miles an hour. I know you said you didn't want tinny. However, Fiat Seicento, 249 pounds. We can easily get that for 248 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> this is quite good. 320D, E46, murdered out. Black How on much? black on black. That's three hundred pound. Get a ton off that. Why is it three hundred pounds? There's something. It very says wrong the steering's it. wobbly. Do you mind little dings like that? That's got a lot less dings than my current car. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, how would you like a street KA? Yes. Let me see it. It's got one point six. Is it? Is it a gunmetal? Oh, it's red. Gunmetal red. Do you know what? I don't like red cars. <laughs> What's going on there? Yeah. You feel about that? Like that? It's KAs and, and Honda Jazz are the two cars you like, aren't they? What's the plural of Honda Jazz? J Jazz. <laughs> Jizz. I could be two for two in MX5s here. It's, look what it says. Perfect for drift project. I've had enough going sideways, yeah. It's non-running due to blown engine. A multipler. Oh. That would have been so good. That would have been perfect. I'm, I really do want a multiplayer. Oh shit, I've run out. I've run out of cars. I've run out of Gumtree. I completed it, mate. I've also completed Facebook Marketplace. Kia Rio. This would be quite good. Estate. It is estate. Yeah, you're right. It's got MOT till May. I reckon, Heath, you should give them a call. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, all right. Why not? I mean, we have this or the Sacento. Do, do you actually want a Sacento? No. All good start. Call ended. Oh. Putting him straight away. Oh, yeah. I'm not needy, I'm have done that. Oh, dear. It's not available at the moment. So our only car is not picking up. <laughs> okay, so now we move on to phase two, which is um, we're going to cold call some some used car dealers and say, "All right, mate, you got any part X's you want to get rid of? I've got two hundred quid burning hole in my pocket." <laughs> All right, I'm going to try Green Tech Autos Limited. Hello. Hello, mate. Do you have anything? 
that you might be scrapping or putting in an auction that I could buy for, for, for a couple of hundred quid. I'll give you a number, I'll let you know. Appreciate that, thanks yeah. very much. Sounded like he was definitely on the toilet. Uh, I've got an automatic micro if you want, it'll take 600 pound on it, it's cheap as is. Right, I'm gonna try the car traders. A couple of hundred quid, there's nothing like, minimum is thousand pounds. Minimum thousand. Have you entertained the possibility that you might actually have to get a train home oh, if we I, I bought a single. <laughs> <laughs> this one is called Quality Part X. I need something for a couple of weeks. Nah, sorry, mate. Mm. Well, I'm not at the moment, I'm afraid. Auto Lux. So, the only car that we do have that's around, um, you know, a couple of bills is a BMW 3 Series and it's 750 pounds. So, so not two hundred pounds. No. I was waiting for her to go. Only trouble is it's got a welded diff. <laughs> right, let's go. RC Woods car sales. This is the one. I haven't said no. I can't help you there. Sorry about that. Okay. A Sean O'Grady cars. This is the one. Can't be taken at the moment. So please. There has to be a dealer that has a car that's pissing them off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That we can just come in with our capes. Sweep up Ravener cars. The best I've probably got is a Citroen C3 and I could probably let it go for like 750 man. Ah. 200, no, cheapest one we've got is 400. <laughs> yeah, I haven't got anything of that sort of price range at the moment, I would say. First choice motors. This is the one. We want last choice motors. <laughs> <laughs> this is a now closed. Well, you should be, you should be open. Closed in the middle of the day. Car connections, I'll give them a go. Car next is Ross speaking. Got anything, you know, part exchange that you might be willing to get rid of for a couple of hundred quid? Uh, well, we, we don't normally sell stuff like that, but we, you might be in luck. Some of them have got MOT left on them as well. Two hundred pounds cheap? Possibly. If you come and have a look, you know, there's a, I think there's a, there's an Audi A4 which has done very high mileage. Uh, there's an old Polo. The Audi you mentioned, you said um, high miles. What, what does high miles mean? Half a million miles. Sold. It's, actually, <laughs> it's, it's actually not too bad. It's been nursed up to Bristol and back every day for probably the last 10 or so years. We, we may be able to help you out. Thanks very much. All right. Cheers, Super. Thank bye you. Bye-bye. Clap for me, boy. It's going to be Miles Jr. It's so funny how backwards we are. Like, usually, if someone heard half a million miles, they'd be like, nah. <laughs> that but so that true. is the reason why we now want this. <laughs> are we foregoing food? Because I'm really excited. Oh, oh you, don't, you don't want to eat? I don't know. I'm in a glass case of emotion. Oh, I'm a glass case of West Kebab. Let's eat. Quite fitting that we're going to see this potential high mileage car in our very own high mileage hero. You could potentially have a car with half a million miles. That's to the moon and back. The circumference of the Earth is 25,000 miles. So half a million miles is a lot more than that. Are you excited, Jack? Yeah. Hell yeah. I'm excited every time we go out and get a new car. I'm excited to see what colour it is. No. That's not it. No, that's the Mercedes. Mm. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I've seen an MR2. Mark 2 MR2. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's clean inside. It's actually a good it? nick, isn't it? Oh, my word. It's got six gears as well. This is amazingly clean in here. Can you actually get over the fact that this has got half a million miles? 541575. The interior. thousand more than miles. Look at the interior. I mean, someone's obviously had an accident. Yeah. But it smells clean. Go on, start it up. Go on. Sold. <laughs> no way. <laughs> I've just bought myself a 541575. Hell, <laughs> 04. Put it there. Just the buttons, they're all completely worn. But the steering wheel is in great wow. nick. The gear knob, I mean, that must have been changed. It's got to be, right? right? 
nothing's worn out. Like it, this seems. If this you seems told me they said a hundred thousand or one hundred fifty thousand miles, I would one hundred percent believe you. Wait, acid test. Sold. So this is Ross from Car Connections. Funnily enough, this is called Poo Corner. Poo Corner, yeah. <laughs> because these are the cars that you get part exchange. That's correct. Yeah. Exactly the cars that we wanted. Yeah, <laughs> just, just for us. us. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely sold. Well done. Yes, yeah. yes, we're really happy. And you've also got other quite interesting stuff. You've got two polos. <gasps> Look at the roof. Oh, wow. Oh, I love mold. And you've got Focus. What's the story with the BMW? I think the rear brake lines need doing. Oh, really? Uh, it's got some, a bit of rust. Oh. Yeah, the MOT ran out last month. There you go, Jack. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is your actual first point. My first point. Oh. And it's worth eight points. It's not. So, yeah. As it stands as well, like it's probably one of the best ones we, we've had. It is. I'm claiming that. We haven't driven it yet. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to go take it for a test drive? Yes. Before we lay down the cold, hard yeah, cash. Yeah. Yes, let's do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And you said full service history as well. Full service history. Is it? Or how or many owners? Do you know? I think it's two. Wow! Yeah. Mad. It's serviced every six months. That's incredible. Yeah. Apparently, it's original clutch, original gearbox, original turbo. Everything on it apparently is original, so I'm told. Let's go for a drive. Let's do it. Oh. I love the buttons. You can't tell what anything is. Right, Jack, do you want to start up your new car? You gotta love a PD, don't you? You gotta love a PD. Do you love a PD? He loves a DP. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are so funny. Snap? Yeah. Yeah, look at <laughs> Yours is way worse oh. than mine. Oh. Look it. No. I dare you. Um, also, that's, that's quite floppy, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, oh. brush it towards your face. If you'd like to win this <laughs> rag, then comment below. Does that thing to the right of the hazard lights pop out? Is that a second? That's the little uh, cubby. Right, you, should we you, go for a drive? Oh! How are the brakes? Feel good? Oh, Jesus! What are you doing? What? I'm braking. <laughs> oh, he's done oh, you. He's done he's you. Really Look done at him. You can do me all day if he wants. It actually feels, feels nice. And it's got MOT until the end of the year. Until the end of the year? Yeah. You say any car with a year's worth of MOT is worth 500 quid. Mate, it's all... Yeah? I mean, we've, tight. we've been in it five minutes. And it seems to work, yeah. dare I say it, before it gets me home, this is better than Mars. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. 2018 through 2019, it was just 17,000 miles. Going from 2017 to 2018, it was 40, 41,000 miles. Or oh, from June 2008 to December 2009, it did 70,000 miles. Oh my God. You went on holiday that year. <laughs> For context, 540,000 miles equates to going to the moon and back, and then a quarter of the way back to the moon, 22 times around the circumference of the Earth, or with a complete average of 50 miles an hour, 10,800 hours, or 450 days, or 38,880,000 seconds of continuous driving. Oh, You're welcome. Thank you. Second chief one we've got and it's one of the best conditioned ones and yeah. it's got half a million also, miles on it look at the roof and i there's no like blood or semen yeah do you know one Dis disappointing. Disappointing. yeah yeah one little say. treat as well i saw this as i was climbing in fridge no, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh for your chicken i'll drive it yeah for a couple of weeks we'll see what let us know yeah yeah maybe we should well, do we could, some we could do some things with we it. should do some maybe we should do some things with it a new series let us know what miles your car is on. If you think that your car has got high miles, um, write in the comments yeah. how many miles your car's got. No lying though. Anyway, everybody, uh, welcome to Jack's brand new car, Junior. Right, it's now two weeks later. Yeah, they know. So this is a little kind of update of Jack's experience. Tell me about it, what's good? The thermostat, I think, has gone in it. It runs real cold. The clutch, I feel like, could be original just from driving it. Yeah, it's, it's on its way yeah, out. You can, well, it's probably been on its way out for 400 yeah, miles. Yeah, you can really feel it for your left foot. Like, there's stuff going on in that box which shouldn't be happening. Airbag light. 
Very good. It's intermittent, yeah. Uh, we should be a bit of worry knowing my luck, I'd probably need airbags. I'm driving it not thinking, oh, it's a 200 pound car, it's a piece of shit. I'm driving it thinking, this is solid. Like there's nothing really that, that wrong with it. The radio, when you turn the knob, yeah, you have to do it so sensitively because else it will just like jump to like a thousand or, or like or to zero. <laughs> so I kept the golf, as I said. I've uh, been looking for bits for it. Impossible to try and find you someone breaking door skin. Yeah, don't you? yeah. So no one's breaking any free door. If anyone's got yeah. a, a door skin for Jack's car, can you sort me out? Now I've driven this, it's making me question whether I want the golf back. So your golf is worth three hundred pounds. You bought it back from the insurance. Yeah. This is worth two hundred pounds. Yeah. If right, there was a tank there, and you had to pick which car it runs over, which one would you get the tank to run over? This one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no question. Love that golf. Yeah, and it nearly killed you. No, it saved my life. It depends how you look at it. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. It's been great to film. It's been very insightful. And if you like what you see, then make sure you subscribe to the channel. We've got loads more coming up by clicking on this link. And to watch more challenge videos, the link's down there. Right, we're going to go that way because we're about to film something really cool. We'll see you soon. <laughs>